of Exodus, please. Uh, verse number 3. Exodus 12, verse 3. Where the holy, infallible, inerrant, forever settled, Word of God said, Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, and uh, a lamb for an house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto him or unto his house, take it according to the number of the, of the souls. Every man according to the eating shall uh, make your account for the lamb. Verse 5 said, Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. Our Father God, I plead the precious blood over the Scripture today, asking God to touch your unworthy servant. Help me now for this little file. Speak in the hearts of your people, and we'll thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Verse number 3, the Bible said, a lamb. Verse number 4, it said, the lamb. And then verse 5 says, your lamb. That's what I'd like to preach about for just a few minutes. A lamb, the lamb, your lamb. The British uh, Royal Navy... Uh, has an unusual way of labeling their ship ropes uh, as uh, U.S. property. Uh, there's, a, there's a colored uh, thread woven into every rope. Uh, it's a red or, scar or scarlet uh, colored thread. And no matter how the rope is cut, neighbor, that red thread can be seen. And I want to tell you, this holy God-breathed Bible that we hold in our hand today has a scarlet thread running all the way through its pages and its words. And the scarlet thread is the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody said in the Old Testament, we see Jesus concealed. In the New Testament, uh, He's revealed. Uh, in the Old Testament, He's enclosed. In the, Old, or in the New Testament, He's explained. He's pictured in the Old Testament. Uh, he's presented in the New Testament. Uh, in every book of this King James Bible, you'll find Jesus, neighbor. Uh, uh, the royal story of redemption commences in Genesis uh, and concludes in Revelation. I'll tell you, there ain't no greater picture of redemption than the Lamb, amen, that was sacrificed for the sins of mankind. Uh, when John the Baptist saw him over there on the river bank uh, of Jordan, he said, Behold, uh, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Every time a little lamb was slain uh, over there in the Old Testament, uh, it was a very vivid picture of the Lord Jesus Christ, neighbor, uh, God's Lamb. Uh, in our text, uh, the A Lamb, uh, the Lamb, uh, your Lamb. Uh, notice uh, first the uh, A Lamb, and that pictures salvation. In verse uh, 3, Moses gave the Israelites uh, uh, the instructions. He, he gives them specific instructions uh, uh, that every household uh, was to take a lamb. And in that, dear neighbor, we can see the picture uh, of the Lord Jesus uh, and the requirements for salvation. Notice uh, uh, the selection of a lamb. Uh, he tells the man of the household uh, uh, to take them every man a lamb. Uh, he made it clear uh, uh, the lamb couldn't be just any lamb. In verse 5, he tells them that your lamb uh, has to be without a blemish. Uh, it has to be a male of the first year. Uh, they had to take it from uh, the sheep uh, or from the goats. I mean, it was a selected lamb. Neighbor, uh, uh, listen, and it couldn't have any blemishes. Uh, it had to be perfect in form. It had to com be complete, no deformities. Uh, it couldn't have any spot on it. Amen. And of course, uh, uh, if, it's, if it was going to be a picture of God's eternal lamb, uh, the Lord Jesus, it couldn't have uh, any blemish or, uh, or imperfections. Uh, 
I'll tell you, it's a, it had to be perfect in its appearance and complete in its essence. Neighbor, one of the greatest verses in the Bible. Uh, concerning the Lamb uh, and the blood of the Lamb is First Peter chapter 1, uh, verse 17 and 18, uh, where the Bible said, For as much as you know uh, that you are not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold uh, from your vain conversation received by tradition uh, from your fathers, but uh, with the precious blood of Christ as of a Lamb uh, without blemish, and without spot. Hebrews 7, 26, uh, Paul said that the Lord Jesus uh, was holy, uh, harmless, undefiled, uh, separate from sinners. Hallelujah. Uh, Our dear Lord was uh, and is uh, the holy, sinless, uh, I mean, uh, the Lamb of God, neighbor. Uh, I'll tell you, He was sinless uh, and perfect in eternity past. Uh, Neighbor, He's he was holy and sinless when he walked the shores of the blue Galilee and thank God there in the glory world today he sits on the right hand of the majesty on high and he's holy hallelujah he's sinless he's the alpha and the omega he's the all sufficient soul saving saint securing lamb of God. Amen. Verse 6, Moses told him, said, and you shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month and the whole assembly of the congregation shall kill it in the evening. Verse 3, listen, it, was, it says it was in the 10th day of this month that they shall take them every man a lamb and for three and a half days Neighbor, that they would shut up a lamb and carefully examine it. They'd look for any signs of sickness. They'd look for scars. They'd look for scratches or any kind of defect in the lamb. If every little blemish was found in the lamb, it was disqualified for the sacrifice. I'll tell you, neighbor, for three and a half years our Lord was placed on public display he was seen he was examined by the world and amen and listen he came to be the sacrificial lamb and after three and a half years of them examining him even Pilate himself had to say I find uh, no fault in him. Uh, hallelujah. I want to tell you, neighbor, I've been saved uh, by the amazing grace of God uh, 46 years. And I can tell you, Brother Jim, I've watched him walk around uh, in the pages of that holy book. Uh, and I can tell you, bless God, uh, there's no blemish in him. I find no fault in the Lord. Lord, amen. Woo, glory to the... I'm telling you, uh, he's the perfect, uh, the Lamb of God without blemish. Uh, even the demons of hell uh, said, uh, I, I know thee, uh, who thou art, uh, the Holy One of God, uh, as the perfect, uh, the sinless Lamb. He came to take away uh, the sins of the world, uh, the holy, uh, die for the unholy, uh, the guiltly, uh, the guiltless, uh, dying for the guilty neighbor. Uh, hey, aren't you glad today? Uh, listen, if, hey, if there'd been one spot, uh, one blemish on him, uh, hey, he couldn't have been the Savior. I'll tell you, uh, uh, all over the uh, world, people try everything uh, imaginable. Uh, to find cleansing from sin. Uh, but there's, uh, there's only one place uh, to find cleansing uh, from sin, neighbor. And that's in the perfect, uh, precious, uh, pure, uh, royal, uh, red. 
bread and blood of the Lamb of God. That's the only place. Amen. They say you can bathe in the dove soap and that dove soap is 99.9% pure. Well, that means that they... That, that means that there's something wrong with it. Amen. I want to tell you, neighbor, uh, the precious blood of the Lamb of God is 100% pure. Hallelujah. Thank God there ain't no telling uh, down through the ages, Charlie, uh, how many uh, uh, tons of sin has been dumped into that blood. Uh, but glory to God, the Lamb, it's not defiled. It's still it's pure as the day was placed on the mercy seat in the glory world. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah to the Lamb. Old song said, uh, hey, this old boy in England, he, uh, he got saved. Uh, uh, before he got saved, he tried to commit suicide uh, uh, several times. Uh, he was a drunk, uh, uh, and uh, he was filled with sin and evil. Uh, but one day he heard a Salvation Army band uh, uh, playing, walking down the street, and he followed them uh, uh, to a little old mission. Uh, and uh, William Copper got saved. Uh, and the first year and a half he was saved, uh, he read his Bible through eight times. Uh, and after a year and a half of being saved, and after reading his Bible through eight times, he sat down and wrote, there is a fountain filled with blood that draws from Emmanuel's veins, and sinners plunge beneath that flood, lose all their guilty stain, Woo! lose all their guilty stain. Hey, it's a selected lamb. It's a sacrifice lamb. Uh, Moses told them to kill it uh, in the evening. Uh, the lamb not only had to be spotless, it had to be sacrificed. Uh, uh, Moses told them to take the blood uh, and strike it on the two side posts uh, and on the upper door posts of, the, of their houses. Uh, the blood of the lamb had to be shed, neighbor. Uh, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission. Uh, I promise you in the fear of God, uh, dear neighbor, uh, listen, uh, the shed blood of the Lamb of God, uh, hey, uh, it can wash away uh, the all sin. Uh, there's no sin uh, that it can't wash away. Amen to God. Uh, hey, not one saint uh, could ever walk down the streets of glory uh, had it not been uh, for the shed blood. Uh, uh, he told them, uh, said, take that blood, uh, put it in a basin, uh, and said, put it on uh, the doorpost uh, and the upper lintel of the door. Uh, you see this door right here? Uh, Jesus said uh, that he was the door to heaven. Uh, amen. I want you to look at that door. Uh, God said, uh, put the blood uh, on the doorpost uh, and on the upper lintel. Uh, you know what that made? Uh, when you put that uh, uh, door, blood there, uh, look at here. Uh, look at that. Uh, hey, uh, what about that, neighbor? Uh, what, hey, uh, the cross. Uh, the cross. Uh, hey, I've, I've hung doors. I'm a carpenter. I've hung doors. Uh, I've no telling how many. I'll tell you, a door uh, is no good uh, for its purpose uh, unless it's hung. Brother Jim, it can stay in the storage building. It can stay in the attic until you hang it. It can't do what it was designed to do. And on Calvary's dark hill, God hung the door to heaven. Woo! God! Hey, look at this door. It's got three hinges on it. God hung the door to heaven with three hinges, neighbor. And the door to heaven swings open. Hey, it's got an outside and it's got an inside. I'm glad I'm on 
the inside. seen these doors uh, uh, hey some of them will say uh, uh, private uh, uh, keep out you ever seen a door like that uh, uh, they said uh, uh, you know employees only uh, or something like that uh, uh, you know uh, no access uh, or a sign that says this is not an exit uh, or something like that uh, but I want to tell you <laughs> on, the, on the cross of Calvary that God hung the door, and that door says, uh, Whosoever will, whosoever will, uh, can enter. Whoa! Uh, you can enter in by the door. Amen. Woo! I believe I can charge hell with a water pistol right now. I, hey, Brother Calvin, I feel saved. Yeah. 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 It was a picture. That lamb. That first Passover night. It was a picture. When Jesus had shed His blood on that old rugged cross and become the door to heaven. I'm through, preacher.